What's up, my name is Matt, and today I wanted to try a little experiment. Back when I first got this PC case, it originally came with one intake fan on the front and one exhaust fan on the back. And this was the first PC I've built, and I'd seen a lot of cases that came with three fans in the front, usually RGB or something, and then one in the back. So I upgraded it, and I bought a couple more to have three intake fans and one exhaust fan. And ever since I uploaded that video, I've gotten a lot of comments saying that I have way more fans than I need in there, that the extra fans aren't really making a difference. But I've still gotten some other comments saying that my PC is an oven, it's running way too hot, all the components are gonna fail from overheating. So today I'm gonna run some benchmarking software, get everything running real warm, and then I'm gonna try a couple different configurations and see you know, how well my current setup is running, if I could actually get to run cooler, or to see, um, you know, if me buying those extra fans actually made it better or not, or if the stock fans make it just as cool. So we got our benchmark going. I got MSI Afterburner also on, and that is monitoring the CPU and GPU temperatures. And I'm just gonna let that run until the temperatures even out, then I'll write it down, and then I'll change the configuration, and we'll just see what works better. So in all of my tests so far, the CPU has actually been running pretty cool. And you know, even though I don't have a liquid cooled AIO or anything like that, um, it probably just helps that it's a six core CPU, not an eight, because those do tend to run hotter. But the GPU has been running pretty toasty. So, you know, most GPUs nowadays, they have these fans on the bottom. It's intaking the cool air from there. And then all of the hot exhaust air either comes out of these vents on the sides or in the front or even in the back a little bit. And just having the side panel off, you know, I could feel some air coming out of the side. I feel a lot of hot air coming out of the front of that GPU. And I could just see how, you know, different cases with different designs, some of them allow you to have intake fans on the bottom. And I really do think that would help you a lot with your GPU temperatures. All right, so it's been a while. I ended up doing 17 separate tests. So first off, I just wanted to test the PC how I currently had it set up. So that's with three intake fans and one exhaust fan. All the fans are the same. They're all Corsair AF120 Quiet Edition fans. And so with that, that gave me a GPU temperature of 79 degrees Celsius and a CPU temperature of 50 degrees Celsius. So from there, I just started experimenting with things. First, I turned off this top intake fan and that actually did not have an effect on the system. So that's kind of interesting. The next I tested it with everything on except the bottom intake fan and the GPU temperature went up two degrees Celsius. So that fan is helping get some cool air into that GPU. And then the only weird thing was I then tested it with just the middle intake fan and the CPU temperature went up. So I think some of that hot air coming out of the GPU was getting blown into the CPU cooler. So I next tested it with no intake fans and the CPU went back down. So just kind of a weird little thing. And then just for fun, I tested it with no fans, except for the CPU fan, I always had that one on. But that came out to a GPU temperature of 84 degrees C and a CPU temperature of 63 degrees C. After that, I turned everything back on and then I tried removing the expansion brackets in the back down here, trying to see if maybe that would help some more cool air come in for the GPU, that had no effect. And then after that, I tried installing another exhaust fan on the top of the case and the GPU went down one degree, um, that's such a small amount, I wouldn't really consider it making a difference. And then I also tried with two fans up top and same thing, it didn't make a difference. So after playing around with things a little bit, I ended up taking everything out and putting in the two original fans that came with the case. And that came surprisingly close to how my current setup was. That was GPU at 79 degrees Celsius, so the same, and CPU at 51 degrees Celsius. So one degree higher, I wouldn't really consider that a difference. So it's kind of funny that although I bought all these extra fans, uh, it really didn't give me any better performance than how the case came stock with just two fans. So in the end, the only thing that I did that really dramatically brought down the temperatures inside my case was removing this front panel and the dust filter. Uh, that brought everything down by about five degrees C. GPU was running at 75 degrees and CPU was running at 45 degrees. And then with the front still off, I took off the side panel and that dropped down the CPU additional two degrees. So in the end, what's the takeaway from all of this? I believe fans can serve two purposes. So first one being performance and the second one being aesthetics. 
Now fans can be kind of pricey, especially ones that look good. Sometimes adding more fans to a PC case can really make it look better. But if you're just going for performance, you're trying to cool everything down, uh, you might look into seeing if buying more fans is going to be worth it or if you're buying so many fans that it's going to actually cost you the same amount to just get a better case so take my computer for example originally i got this case for a hundred dollars and it came with two fans and you know i thought to myself you know that would probably look cooler with three fans in the front you know even though i don't have a clear cover in the front and you know maybe it'll cool down the components a little bit more and you know i wasn't paying attention i was just adding stuff to the cart and i didn't realize i ended up spending around 80 dollars on these fans but the fans i got they're a little quieter and they look nice but other than that they're not really getting me any extra performance so 80 dollars worth of fans in a hundred dollar case you know if i was really concerned about temperatures i could have probably gotten a case with better airflow. And don't get me wrong, this is a good case. It's not like anything's running too hot in there or anything. So with that being said, every case behaves differently. You know, some of the tests I did on here, they may work better or worse for you on your setup. But yeah, I just never really put this to the test and I wanna experiment, see how much of a difference every fan actually makes. So uh, in the end, I'm just gonna put it back to the setup how I had it. I, it's good there. But yeah, I just enjoyed experimenting with my computer. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. I hope you were able to learn something from it. And just thank you all for all of your support. And I'll see you in the next one. Kind of pricey, especially, especially. <laughs>